since it's been used before, we spot it. Like in this case here, John and I identified these, these uh, scratches. They're somewhat of a challenge when trying to break it because they're gonna break with it possibly. There's a chance that we don't see the old damage to it at all. And we keep our cutter in oil. Start from the top, right at the edge at the start, but not having the wheel hanging over the glass, just right at the edge of the glass. It's uniform, the sound, then you know you've done all right because it's an older glass. And so, you know, we're trying to dodge any possible micro runs in it. So I softly play with it versus a brand new piece of glass. I would just automatically just go like that with a new piece of glass and wouldn't have played with it too much. But it's in, you know, it's solid shape. It's good glass still. And if anybody's wondering what these teeth are all about, we can show you what those teeth are used for. And you can see the teeth going into the glass and you use that to bend. Now we're gonna show you a very tight cut. You realize that you cut a piece of glass wrong and you don't have a pair of glass cutters. So press on it and then you stick a tight, the tight teeth on it and you've broken the piece of glass off. There, like that. Like I said, I'm just trying to preserve old glass and make it happy. So that's nice. And John's gonna do a quick cut in half. Oh, <laughs> right okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. I'll hold the, I'll be the assistant. And the finger up there so you can put pressure. And the teeth are down, and there's the wheel, and it's riding in here, and your finger's pressing it down at the same time, like that and your thumb is pressing up against it. Oh, so it's not like a pencil. All right, this is my, my first glass break right here. Well, I'm steady. Oh, yeah, nice sound. Almost like seven eighths of it was beautiful. Holding firm here with the thumbs, and at the same time, you're pressing up with your fingers, and you're pulling away and bending at the same time. Yeah, that's a good way. That's good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just a little weakness, you get a chance to break it. Oh. <laughs> I have to say, working for McCullough really taught me a lot on using old glass. <laughs> Especially when it was, it was quarter inch plate glass and three eighths plate glass. <laughs> oh, it's wow. funny. And we do some of the stupidest things going up on ladders like 12, 14 feet, taking down like 86 by, I don't know, like, you know, uh, one, 108. <laughs> Huge and I'm trying, glass. and I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to preserve it while I had the assistants helping me, because I didn't realize I was going to be number one, and so I wasn't being hired as an assistant. So I'm like, trying to cut the old glass out and take it out so we could preserve it and take it back home, <laughs> so we could sell it again. <laughs> it was so funny. Dad was always saying, "Ah, oh, McCullough, you're going to learn a lot with McCullough." Said, okay. So what do you mean by that? He says, "Oh, he." Cuts the corners. He likes to cut corners. I said, oh, in what way? And he said, oh, you know, he'll use old glass. I said, really? Wow, I've never done that. But it came in handy in the later years now with the greenhouse. And some of it's probably been repaired in the 50s or the 60s. I've learned lots of tricks. Ta-da. We just like. 22 of them, and it's this is the last one. It's still amazing. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> <laughs> you were like, "What the hell is he doing?" Oh my god! <laughs> Way to go, Murray! <laughs> you got it. You still got it. Oh yeah, I do. Class history. <laughs>
one by one.